Welcome back to the Free MC YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use our control panel. To get started, you need to open the Free MC website by clicking the link at the top of the description or by typing in freemc.host into your web browser of choice. If you have watched our previous video, you will already have the server. If not, you should go back and watch that, then come back here. Click the link on the left of the website called Panel. This will take you to our control panel. You will be automatically logged in within a few seconds and taken to the home page. The panel home page shows you the list of your servers, including the server identifier, name, direct IP address with the node host name and port, memory usage measured in megabytes, CPU usage measured in percent, and the current status, either online or offline. Click on your server's name to open the console. This is where you can view recent logs and actions that have happened on your server. You can also type commands into the console to run them on the server. Most commands that you can run in game can be run here, but without the slash at the start. For example, you can type op space player name to give that player op access. Underneath the console are four buttons that allow you to control your server. Start and stop are self-explanatory, they will start and stop your server. Whereas restart will both stop then start your server, useful if your server has crashed. The kill button will instantly stop your server, this is known as a forceful stop. Forcefully stopping your server with the kill button may corrupt your world or other files, therefore it is not recommended to use this. There are two graphs underneath the control buttons, memory on the left and CPU on the right. Memory graph shows you how much RAM your server has been using recently, measured in megabytes. This is useful so that you can make sure the server does not go over the memory limit, which would cause it to crash. The CPU graph shows you how much of the node CPU your server is using. It is measured in percent and 100% is equal to one core. On the left sidebar is where you can access more pages of the control panel. File management is where you can access and manage the files of your server. Subusers is where you can allow other users to control your server. Don't give subuser access to people that you don't trust. The schedules page allows you to schedule actions on your server, such as starting, stopping, restarting, or sending commands. The databases page allows you to access databases. Databases are not available for free users. Under the configuration tab, the server name page allows you to rename your server. The allocation settings page allows you to see information about your server's IP address and manage additional ports which aren't available for free users. The SFTP settings page shows you information needed for SFTP. The startup parameters page shows you the stop to command. In the next video I will show you how to allow multiple versions to connect to your server. Like and subscribe so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching.